Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to prevent login form submission when either of the fields are empty by disabling a button in Flutterflow. Here I have a form with two text fields. Nothing special about them, I just named them email address, email, and then password and password, and a button here with no workflows or anything. So I'm going to click on this form and scroll all the way down to autofill hints. And we can see that this text field can have a hint option. And we have a bunch over here, but I'm just gonna choose email in that format. Similarly here, I have a password, but I would really like for it to be one of the things where you can hide and show the password. So I again have scrolled down here and I'm gonna click password field. And that gives us this little toggle icon. We can choose a size and a color and this is going to automatically toggle between whether we can see the password we input or not. Also over here, I'm gonna go down to autofill hint and this is going to be a password as well. Now let's try this out. Here I'm going to start by inputting a random email and then a random password. For the password field, we can see that currently we can't see the letters, but I can toggle this icon to be able to see what I inputted. But this doesn't resemble an actual email. So what do this autofill hint options really do? I'm going to delete this and we can see that it actually allows you to use a saved email. So Google or Apple saves your email and by enabling autofill options, it marks this as an email field and Google is able to determine that this is my saved email. Now, what if I have both of these fields empty? I'm still able to click this button and let's say this would navigate us to another page. How do I disable this button? So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually make another page. So right now it's called finished form and it just has congrats over here. This just allows us to see visually that we have completed the sign up. Gonna go on our button over here and add an action to navigate to our finished form page. That's it. And we see, we can see that we are able to navigate. It hasn't uploaded, updated it yet, but we are able to navigate even when these fields are empty. But we don't want that to be the case. So I'm gonna click on this button and scroll down over here to button disable options. Now I'm going to click on it and choose a double condition because we wanna check that both the email and the password field are valid before we can navigate. So the condition we write over here is the condition for this to be disabled. So when this is true, this is going to be disabled. So we want this to be disabled when the email field is empty or the password field is empty. Here's how we set that up. I'm going to click over here and I'm gonna go under conditions and choose a single condition. I'm going to grab the value of our email address and then I'm gonna say when the email address is not set or is empty or when the password oops or when the password is not set or is empty, we want this button to be disabled. And I'm gonna just click confirm. Then we want the disabled color to be slightly different. So I'm making it this light purple so we can visually see. What this is gonna do is it's going to make it so that we are unable to click on this button. So the workflow associated with this button won't run if either of these fields are empty.
we can see right off the bat it is disabled. I'm going to put in an email, put in a password, and we can see that by filling out both these fields, this button is enabled and I can click on it. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.